Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the British Monarchy cards from Lux Playing Cards. Uh, Lux Playing Cards, uh, you might remember I did a review for them uh, back a while ago, the Aves deck, the, the Bird deck. If you'd like to learn more about Lux, you can visit them at Lux playingcards.com. This was a Kickstarter successfully funded, and the artist for this deck is a man named Nam Tybin. He's based out of the Philippines. There was two versions of this deck released with the Kickstarter. Uh, there was this version, which is the standard uh, Tally Ho tuck case, and then there was a King Henry VIII tuck case. Uh, this year, 2015, King Henry VIII is going to be 524, and so to honor that, uh, Lux released 524 of the special edition tuck case. The front of this tuck is done in all black and a muted gold color. It says British Monarchy Tally Ho cards, and then it has the Lux uh, symbol right there in the corner. Uh, this side says that they're printed from the United States Playing Card Company. This side says Linoid Finish, made in the USA. The bottom has some ad copy about Lux, and the top as is gold, and it did say something under the tuck seal, but can't read it now. Uh, there's an original Lux tuck seal right there, and of course the back design of the tuck case is the back design of the cards. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards were printed from the United States Playing Card Company, and they are done on their retail thin stock. They do have a modern cut, and they do have air cushion finish, and if you'd like to learn more about stock cut or finish, you can click the link below in the description. The back design of this is very ornate, and it keeps with the entire theme of the deck. The back illustrates the crown, which alludes to the infamous War of the Roses uh, in England. Uh, you will notice that this deck does have a British monarchy theme throughout, but also trying to tie it into uh, the respected brand of Tally Ho. And so Tally Ho has a circle back design, and so that's what Lux tried to do, is incorporate the circle back design into a back design that honors the British monarchy. With this deck, you're going to get a couple of things, the first of which is you're going to get a double backer, which is always cool for magic tricks. And then the other thing you're going to get is you're going to get two jokers. Now, one of these jokers is Oliver Cromwell. Uh, he was an English military and political leader and he was later uh, Lord Protector of the Commonwealth of England, Scotland, and Ireland. This Joker is Anne Boleyn. She's one of the most famous queens in English history, even though she only reigned for three years. Uh, she didn't give Henry VIII a son, and shows she was uh, unjustly accused of witchcraft, and she was executed. Uh, they were all false charges, but her daughter, her daughter, Elizabeth, would become one of England's most greatest queens. Your pips and indice cards are all completely redone and original. Uh, you've got original center placement of the pips. Uh, you've got an original font over there in the corner. Uh, the pips you can see even have like a tiny uh, little gold outline that surrounds the coloring. And your court cards are all historically accurate. They are all based on the famous British monarchy uh, from centuries past. Your Ace of Spades is really big, very ornate, and still carries that same gold black theme that you see through the colorings of the deck. It says Tally Ho, playing cards made in the USA, and the center is the British monarchy crown, surrounded by uh, some vine work. The other aces in this deck are also unique. The Ace of Hearts is a throne. The Ace of Clubs is that little ball ornament that uh, royalty carries and the Ace of Diamonds is a knight's helmet. Well, that is it for this deck review. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. Now, if you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, and instagram.com slash magic underscore